Sometimes there comes a time in your career where you just can't take it anymore and you need to quit your job and reevaluate. This situation happened to me just a few years ago and let me explain why I quit my nutrition career. Amy Hager here. I'm a registered dietitian in private practice and I've been a dietitian since 2003. I've had a lot of really exciting experiences as a dietitian. I worked in prestigious hospitals like Wake Med in Raleigh and UNC Chapel Hill in, in North Carolina. And I've worked in corporate wellness for big companies like Haynes Brands and American Express. And it was all within my first 10 years as a dietitian. I feel like I sort of hit that peak of doing everything I wanted to do in my career. And then I turned my sights on to private practice. I made this transition in 2013 and I really enjoyed the flexibility and the freedom that self-employment provided. In fact, I had a lot more time on my hands than I ever did working in a nine to five job. So I ended up spending more time with my hobbies, beekeeping and gardening, and then eventually jewelry making. And little did I know that my hobbies were gonna become my primary source of income in just a few years. I was only three years into private practice when I had to put a halt on it. My husband and I decided to make a big move across the country, all the way out to Colorado and start over. He had a job offer in Colorado. However, I didn't have any job prospects at the time. And it was this precipitating event that led me to put my entire career on hold. There was definitely a lot going on at the time, you know, getting into a new state, settling into a new community. On top of that, we were building our very own home, DIY style. So there was just a lot to adjust to in a short period. You could say it was a bit overwhelming. I did take a look to see what kind of dietitian jobs there were in the area, but I was looking at an over an hour commute to pretty much anywhere, and I just wasn't ready to take that on if I didn't have to. So I figured I would see how I could make money in other ways. So one thing that I did was I started to look into the culture of craft shows and art shows. I was really enjoying making jewelry back in North Carolina. I was really developing a unique style. So I wanted to see what kind of events were available for me out there. And fortunately with Colorado, there's something going on all of the time. I could find something almost every single weekend to get busy, go out there and try to sell my wares. On top of that, I also did a little bit of retail on the side. So it looked like jewelry was becoming a really steady revenue source for me. In fact, I was enjoying my new lifestyle so much that I was wondering, beginning to wonder if I was ever gonna go back into nutrition. I was really enjoying introducing myself as an artist or as a beekeeper since my jewelry was honeycomb designed. And it was just really fun to not be a dietitian for, for a while. And I know that you RDs know what I'm talking about when you don't wanna say what you do for a living because you get a hundred questions. So it was definitely a nice break from all of that. The other thing I did is I started picking up YouTube as another hobby. Because me and my husband were building our dream home, I started documenting the entire process and I made a YouTube channel based on our homestead experience. Well, that got really popular a few, several years ago. It was a very popular topic. And so we started getting a lot of followers. And in one short year, we started getting monetized as a channel, which means that you can start making money off of your YouTube channel. You can say it was all very enterprising, right? Trying out new ways to earn money. And it definitely felt good to take a break from the dietetics career. You know, I kind of think of it as my two year sabbatical in a way. It was nice to take a break from all the left brain analytical work and nice to be in a creative space and just do however, just do art for a living. But it was also a very valuable period for me. You know, a lot of dietitians take a break from their career, whether they decide to go back to school or they decide to raise a family. It's not unusual for people to kind of take a break from their career and go back to it. So in this period of my sabbatical break, I realized a few key things about dietitians. One is that the opportunity that we have is very unique, especially if you're doing counseling. You can easily work for yourself and have a flexible schedule as a dietitian. And then two, I realized that dietitian work is actually pretty easy, especially if you're doing counseling. Now, if I compare that to setting up for a jewelry show every weekend, that's a lot of physical labor. There's a lot of packing involved, hoisting your tent, carrying it from the car, setting up your tent. And mind you, I was doing this all by myself because my husband was back building our home at the time and I was out trying to make money on the weekends to support our home build. 
I definitely remembered how easy it was to just talk to people and get paid. <laughs> so as a dietitian, just using my expertise, it was a little bit more work involved setting up for an entire day, sitting outside in hot weather in the summertime and selling jewelry for a living. Definitely. It was a lot more exhausting work. So I ended up going back to thinking about working online, doing some kind of nutrition counseling, and I then ended up finding a position through another company where I could do that, doing some telehealth work. But eventually I realized I could be doing the work for myself, so I went back to private practice, and that's what I'm doing 100% now. My primary income is I work with clients doing medical telehealth and billing insurance companies. So the point I wanna make in this video is that the concept of a sabbatical or taking a break is critical for a lot of reasons, especially if you're on the verge of burnout or if you're not feeling fulfilled in your career and you're not really sure what direction to take, there is no harm in taking a break that's more than just a vacation, more than just two or three weeks, like a full year off. So that way you can really weigh out all of your opportunities, weigh out all of the values that are important to you and really construct a career or a part-time career based on the skills and the values that are really important to you. So that's what my nutrition sabbatical allowed me to do. I got a chance to explore my creative side. I got a chance to find out other ways to make money. And, and now I have time and room for all of my interests. Some of those are revenue generating, like seeing clients and making jewelry. And some of them are just more for fun, like beekeeping and gardening. And I get to showcase a lot of this on my YouTube channel as well. If you're feeling like a sabbatical might be in your future, definitely explore that option. For us as dietitians, there's so many opportunities out there that you can leave one job and find another one without a whole lot of trouble. And I've been very fortunate in my job opportunities and right now working for myself has been the, my most favorite path of all. So best wishes to you guys if you feel like taking a break is your next step before you go on to your next chapter because it's definitely worth it and you'll learn a lot.